Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Walking Wicket podcast. Today we are joined by no other than Benjamin Higton, special guest, fresh back off the plane from Australia. Ben, say hi. Hello everyone. <laughs> Great to be here, looking forward to a wonderful podcast and seeing my best mate James Watson talk some cricket. <laughs> Love you, James. Well, it's great to have you on, Ben. I look forward to your insight. Right, should we dive straight into it, fellas? We're going to start off by talking about England's next test captain, whether it should be Joe Root or whether we should mix it up a bit. Uh, what do you think, boys? You've got to stay with Joe Root, surely. It's not his fault. It can't be his fault. I refuse to believe it. That's outrageous awesome. on the count. Pretty much every single test in the last two years. Um, but he hasn't. He hasn't lost it. I think he has. He, he, he's, you know what? It's disappointing. He's very attractive with the bat, but attractive captaincy. That's what I've talked about with Cook, Strauss, Root is my pathetic captain I've ever seen. He couldn't even get Broad and Anderson, who are quite nice blokes on side, but he can't even get Saqib Amu to bowl outside off. He, he can't. Unfortunately, Root's had it. If you go back to the attractive captains, I just cast your mind to Pat Cummins. Well, Obviously, he's he's quite an attractive um, cricketer and bloke. And he's been doing all right. We'll and it, I think you've kind of got to put it down to the side as well. Like, we've been picking for two years the wrong side. Root's been consistently our highest run scorer. If you remember that little demographic from the Ashes, where he was about 700 runs ahead of everyone else, third was extras. He's not the issue here, I don't believe. Well, that may be, but... Yeah, I mean, his batting isn't a problem. That, that is... 100% true. He's, he's the best batsman we've got by far, but um, there must be better options as, as far as the captaincy goes, I think. Um, and should we explore some of his options? Uh, what do we think about Ben Stokes? What's, what do you think about that? Absolutely. Every single time England have made a star player their captain, so Flintoff, Peterson, Botham, they've all been absolute flops. And if we give Stokes a captaincy and it ruins him as a player, and he never gets that back, then, we're, then we are properly fucked. Because I don't think we actually have a captain. In the, if you look across the England side, squad and championship cricket, there's not a captain there. Vince? Other than Root. Vince, you can't have a bloke captaining who scores 30. Well, like, it doesn't work. I mean, Root did that for three fucking years before he started to finally <laughs> find out the bat. Um, now, my pick is Vince. My next pick will be Broad. What, why, it's not a bad shout. Why wouldn't you like Braun and Anson, Let's face it; they're they're quite they're going to retire together soon. So just give them a, give them a go. I think what we should do for this summer. Um, so obviously, I mean, it's basically inevitable that Braun and Anson are going to play this summer, no matter what. Um, whether they retire afterwards, that's a different story. But this summer, we should just make Broad the captain, and even if it's not like a long term long term option whatsoever. Just keep him in for this summer until we sort things out. And then we'll see where we go come 2023. Just like give Broad a go and you know, after that we can see where we, where we are. The thing is, is Broad a good bloke? Doesn't but like, He's a shit bloke. He doesn't walk <laughs> the edge of it, but like, that's, what we, that's what we advocate here at England Cricket. Kane True. Williamson. Kane Williamson, nice bloke, but he's definitely killed a few people. He's got some skeletons in his closet. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he, the, the, no, he's, he's done some bad things in the past and all this nice personas. Uh, <laughs> it's all, it's all um, I don't know. Very shady. Yeah, it's very shady. Um, I think aggression is very vital in the captaincy. So, and unfortunately, Root has the aggression of a mouse. I think Vince is very aggressive. I think Vince, I know, I, I, I don't think you can find a more aggressive personality. You know. Yeah, he's got, that, think... he's got that look in his eye where you know he's up to no good every time he steps onto a cricket field. Well, Watson, what do you think? If we're going off that, if we're going off that parameter, sorry, I'm just a butt ahead of James, can we have Alex Hales as captain? Because <laughs> he's, got, he's got a bit about him. Ooh. The thing is, right now, we honestly could pick a player based on the captaincy. It's not like, as in, like, if they're a good captain, they don't necessarily need to score hundreds of runs. Like, Mike Brearley, he, like, that was for what, back in the 80s, but he didn't actually score that many runs, but he was, a, like, he was a class captain. Well, we saw it with Fred Cutler, really. 
<laughs> I don't think he scored a run for five years, but he was our captain for a year and he did an all right job. But yeah. um, you know, going on the sort of wicket keeper captain thing, such as Fred Kotler, what, what do you think about maybe Ben Folks as a captain? Uh, no, really, yeah, I, he's, not got, he's, he's not got, he's just not got it. He's level headed and he's one of the only people who's got his place in the side, sort of cement. I know he hasn't played particularly well, but. I mean, we're not going to bring another keeper for like a year and leave space at me. I mean, but the issue with Ben, Ben, um, issue with Ben and folks, he spends more time in front of the mirror getting himself ready than he actually does in the middle. I don't, so, I don't mind about that though. At least he looks good while he's doing it. True, true. That is a very good point. Folks but, has that wispy sexuality about him, which I really like. But in terms, yeah, it's the same problem with Root. It's, he's almost the captaincy. You're looking from a bang average to a slightly sexual sort of a uh, like persona about him like cook yeah you 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 you're, you're attracted to him but not in a sexual way it's attracted to him in terms of he looks he looks clean shaven he's got a very good jawline Damn, i'm quite he, attracted to him to be honest in every sense of the word <laughs> he's a sir he's a left-handed batsman he's quite not easy on the eye got a bit of way he got a bit of wedge line around <laughs> bring cook back but he is a farmer so he's probably trying to shoot for a living now so I failed to see an issue with that one. Needs must. <laughs> That's not frowned upon. That's all right. Anyway. Right. So let's get some um, views, proper views. So I want one England captain for the test against New Zealand or whoever the fuck it is. Who's your captain in New Zealand? Let's start with uh, James, then Ben. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, yeah, I'm probably say Vince. Just yeah. Right. Come on. Good show. Thing is, we only have one player in the top order really nailed down. Maybe two if you say Zach Crawley. Oh, uh, and Ben Stokes, fine. But in that top four, I reckon I'd, you you bring Vince in, you put him at four, and then you drop Lawrence to five, Stokes to six, and then that all fits it fits quite nicely. Um, so yeah, Benjamin. I reckon if he, if he's selected, Johnny Bairstow gets a go. I think he's obviously he's a, he's a Yorkshire lad. He, He's close to Root. He can still kind of work with Root whilst doing it, and he's a he's a he's a big man. He commands respect. Having walked past him in the garden in a garden in uh, Melbourne with his uh, with his wife or Mrs., he was. <laughs> he's a big man. He's quite scary. Is he married? Yeah, he's, he's he had a woman with him. I would assume it was a partner of some description, as opposed to. Uh... Now, you know what? You know what? That gives hope to men everywhere. That if Johnny Bairstow <laughs> can get married, we're, we've all got a chance. You got a chance, man. It's all right. Yeah. Cheers, mate. And I also like if we're going off kind of, he's got a good rig. Like he is, he's perfected the muscular dad bod. I've been trying for nineteen years. I'm I'm getting there slowly, but yeah. I think based on that, like you've got to give him a go. He gives off that down energy a lot, and he does. He's like he gives off he gives off the I'm gonna go out about seven. I've had six pints the night before. I might score some runs, and if I do, I look good doing it. But if not, then I'll go drink some more beers. And I think that's what we need in England. You know what, Ben? I Quint- think. Well, I think- uh, young Johnny Bairstow is, is a great shout. Mm. I, I don't think it'll happen. As much as I want it to, I don't think it'll happen, uh, him becoming England captain. I think what's realistic is Root was staying in captain, which is stupid and naive from the selectors. But uh, I think it should be Stuart Broad just for the summer. Um, you know, not necessarily a long-term option, but definitely something we should look at and yeah, get us through the year. But because me and Watson both think it's Vince, I think executive decision for the walk of the podcast is that yeah. Vince is the next England captain. What I would, what I would say on um, God ECB, they're literally as spineless as NATO for Ukraine. They they can't <laughs> they can't sack group. They've got to sack group. It's a joke because whether it's broad Vince or it won't be Vince, but we think it should be, and, and, and realistically. The judiciary here has said it's Vince, but it probably will be Stokes. But Root's got to go, and unfortunately, it looks like he's staying, which means more misery for England fans worldwide. Because I think we're quite good with that. I think the English are just very good at encapsulating misery. <laughs> so as much as we will will struggle, we get on well with it. Like we enjoy it. And it's more to moan about, really. So the podcast will continue to ebb and flow about why we're so shit at cricket. <laughs> but it's a good way to look at it. 